Superfly actor sentenced to 50 years to life in prison for multiple rapes. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AFG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis of the most popular topics in the world today. In today's video, we have a Los Angeles based rapper sentenced to 50 years to life for multiple rapes that took place back from 2013 to 2018. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AFG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. It'll be more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Similar to yourself, all my normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. A Los Angeles based rapper who acted in the 2018 movie Superfly was sentenced Monday to 50 years to life in prison after he was convicted of sexually assaulting seven victims, including three minors. Kaylin Walker, age 27, was also ordered to register as a lifetime sex offender for the series of crimes dating back to 2013. The former, excuse me, the performer was convicted of three counts of formidable rape, two counts of unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor, two counts of rape on an intoxication victim, one count of assault with intent to commit oral copulation by Van Nuys jury on April the 18th. Deputy District Attorney Cynthia Wallace says she believes Walker is truly a predator. For his assaults on young women and teenagers between 2013 and 2018, Walker used his Instagram and Twitter to find his victims who were often aspiring models and actresses to lure them to locations saying that he had booked them for photo shoots and music video productions that never happened. Instead, the rapper raped as well as assaulted the women and underage girls. When they said stop, he didn't care. Deputy District Attorney Yasmin Fargamenshi, I don't know, that's a long ass name, excuse me told the jury of Walker during the trial in March. Walker's attorney said he didn't force the women and girls and that they were seeking revenge against the client for the false promises he made of music shoots and opportunities to meet his famous and well-connected friends. Mm. The lawyer Andrew Fowler added that the rapper's career had been ruined and that he has suffered a living nightmare. Mm due to the allegations for which he was later convicted. Walker, who also appeared in the 2017 film Kings, starring Halle Berry and Daniel Craig, was arrested on September 2018 and released on bond. He was taken into custody again after he was found guilty. Okay. So now, Kalen Walker, age 27, found guilty of raping and assaulting young women, women and young women. Okay, um, yeah, it sounds like to me that he felt like he was privileged. You supposed to want to be around me, I'm famous, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm using my celebrity to get everything I can get, you know? And it's, it seems to be an ongoing thing in Hollywood I'm sure he's not the only one doing it. I mean, of course, we know all about R. Kelly and his antics with young women, you know, but it just seems like it's a thing in the industry that that's just what they do. They turn them out and then, you know, continue to turn them out, continue to turn them out and ruin them. Um, it's a shame because these young ladies came out thinking that they were going to get an opportunity to, you know, move up the ladder and get into the industry and do some different things. and. They were being used. Now, that's no fun being used. Um, I'm sure we all can attest to being used at one time or another, maybe not sexually, but we've been used and we know how that feels. Um, I can attest to it as well. And I can tell you, I'll be, you know, super, well, about as red as his hat or shirt or these shoes or whatever. So, 
Um, yeah, I'd be pissed because I felt like I put my trust in you and you turned around and you did me dirty. Now, as far as the youngsters, okay, the ones that's under the age of 18, they should have known better, okay? Um, but these little young girls is going, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do, okay? The fact that he lured them, you know, from Twitter and Instagram and they DMs, getting with them, letting them know, hey, look, meet me here. I'm, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And for this situation to stay quiet from 2013, this happened back in 2013, all the way up to 2018. And we're just now hearing it. He's just now getting the treatment that he should have gotten back then. So it's been a whole five years that went by. Then he gets away with it for another four, which our legal system that we have these days, I mean, I, I guess they let things go on until they can really pin you on it and then really get you down. Because some people with money will use the money to get themselves out of that and kind of like, you know, wiggle their way out of it and keep it moving. But when you're doing, you know, dirt like this, it always comes back to you. It always comes back to you. And never, ever, ever get, you never get away with it. Because people like this need to be in prison. They need to be under the prison, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting there, as I'm talking to you, I'm calculating the numbers in my head. So 2013 was 19, right? If this was nine years ago, from 2013, this is 2022 now. This is nine years ago, he was 19 years old. He was 19, probably talking to somebody, you know, 15, 16, 17. So that would be considered a minor, okay? If you were in that 19 year old range, you know, from like age 19 to 24, oh, he's a monster, he's a predator. The things that he did, he raped him, you know, young people that age, they do that type of stuff. Now, it's kind of hard. What I will say is, it's a little difficult when you're 19, 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? And you're talking to women, it's almost like most guys at least for me, I can't speak for most guys. I'm just gonna speak for Abel, okay? AGs. Um, I like to have a woman, you know, younger than me, possibly between no more than like three, four years younger. You know what I'm saying? I wanna kinda still relate to you. You can relate to me. I mean, it's okay if we're the same age, but I don't want you older than me. You know what I'm saying? I'd much rather have you younger than me. You know what I'm saying? You know, so. Um, yeah, and the fact that he was 19, she could have been 15, 16, 17. So it was kind of tough. Now, he knew what he was doing, you know what I'm saying? But when you're 19 like that and you're still in the realm of a teenager, you're still doing what you're doing, you're going out. I mean, it's probably somebody around your neighborhood doing the same thing. 19 years old dating a 17-year-old girl. You know what I'm saying? We all went out with a girl and dated them. The only thing that you can't do is have sex with them. You can date them, but you just can't have sex with them. You know what I'm saying? They're not allowed to have sex till they 18. Once they turn 18, this is a grown woman, you're a grown man, then it's fine. So the, the law right there in that area is kind of like sticky, but you know, he still deserved the prison time. Cause I'm not gonna sit there and say, well, he was, you know, give him a break, give him a, nah, he knew what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, being 19, being in the industry, you know what I'm saying? Being a rapper in movies and all that kind of stuff. You got access to plenty of women. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a little girl to get to, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of women. So, I mean, they took that, ran with the celebrity and just, you know, did what they wanted to do. So, it's an unfortunate situation for them women. Um, hopefully they, you know, they can heal from this. I'm not sure there's any, you know, financial conversation in this, but um, I know he's doing prison time. So, maybe it might be some financial conversation in this. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep my eye on it and see if I can find any information on this. But in the meantime, between time, his next girlfriend's name is going to be Bubba, okay, behind bars. So, with that being said, if you like what you've heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well. It'll bring more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Only if you share the video. You share this video, then we get more like-minded people like, you know, me and you. And um, we can grow this family and we can do a whole bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, 
I'm looking forward to doing more things with the channel. I'm doing, looking, for more, looking forward to doing more with you guys. I want to give back. Um, so let's just continue to try to, you know, push this, you know, subscriber and get more subscribers, get more people over. You know what I'm saying? You know, we kind of like, we're growing, but we're growing slow. So, um, but yeah, do me a favor. Come visit me on my TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, give me a shout out, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'll shout you back out, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, we'll go from there. So, in the meantime, between time, I love every single one of y'all. Please be careful out there. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.